Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I'm reviewing the new cigar from La Palina. This is the El Año 1896 Oscuro, and this is the Bellicoso, six and a half by 52. Now, this is how it comes straight out of the wrapper package, cellophane, if you will, with this uh, nice sleeve. It is box pressed, and there is the density. sleeve which removes the entire band as you can see and there is the nice looking cigar now this is the first box press cigar from La Polina and it is the latest collaboration between La Polina Cigars and Abe Flores of PDR Cigars in the Dominican Republic. The significance of the 1896 is that it was the year that original La Polina brand was launched by Samuel Paley, Paley or Paley, the grandfather of current La Polina owner Bill Paley. Cigar is made of a uh, Mexican San Andreas wrapper over Dominican binder and fillers. And it is a nice looking cigar. Look at that. Very nice looking Mexican wrapper. You can see the oiliness. Shop some shine there. It is available in three sizes. A Robusto, a Toro, and today's choice, the Bellicoso 6.5 by 52. So there you have it, the long and the short of it. Let's get right to it. The new La Polina El Año 1896 Bellicoso. Well, we can't hardly mess this up. Uh, I like that. That is a nice point. I like it. Let's see how little we can take off and still get a draw. How about that much? Hmm. That will work. When I say how little, oops, that was that much. <clears throat> it was so little that it, uh, that's very good. Wasn't even any tobacco to hold it together, the little bellicoso tip. First flavors are a very nice sweet cedar with a lot of cream notes. There's a lot of coffee and a lot of black pepper rated roughly at an eight. The finish at this early stage is really one of a little coffee, believe it or not, and raw almonds or raw nuts. You could say roasted nuts like of a raw almond variety. Yeah, raw almonds because it has a little sweetness like like almonds do. A little bit of lingering black pepper. So uh, that's how it starts. There is a nice sweetness in that very very sweet cedar actually, and uh, cream, which give it a nice smooth feel and flavor, and then a lot of black coffee. There is also some brown sugar there. The cedar is primarily the flavor, but there is some brown sugar to go along with the cedar and cream. So let's go with those three flavors. Sweet cedar, brown sugar, and cream. Lots of coffee. Not overpowering coffee, it's just there. It is a lot of coffee because this is a Maduro wrapper, but it's not overpowering. And a decent amount of black pepper. Nice start. Not bad. Well, I'm about two and a half inches in. And the flavor notes about, oh, an inch or so ago, 
let's say about an inch and a half in, really started to change. I came back now because I've been editing the video. So this is when you get it, get me back. But what the flavor, the cigar flavors did was change from that sweet cedar and some brown sugar and cream to it morphed. It changed into a sweet strawberry preserve, chocolate and coffee. It's almost like a chocolate covered strawberry now. It has that same sweet flavor of those notes. The finish has gone to a buttery cream. Big changes. With a decent amount of lingering uh, black pepper. Oddly enough, with all these powerful sounding things, possibly here and there with the coffee and stuff, it's medium body. But the flavors now are really nice they were good at the beginning don't get me wrong but this uh chocolatey strawberry preserve <laughs> very nice very sweet tastes just like what you would think that would taste like so at the two and a half inch point or so that's where i am Only got a couple inches remaining but really thought i should come back before the end to tell you that the flavor notes have really not changed the notes themselves but the percentages have and and it's gradually gotten darker and darker the chocolate notes particularly the coffee notes have really elevated and they've tilted the cigar darker where the strawberry type notes are still there, but they're sort of in third place. The pepper seems to have increased, however. The lingering pepper is really nice, and the pepper on the front end is probably a tick up, but it's really gone up on the finish. It is still roughly medium body. And that surprises me, but that's what it is. Um, it has a little tilt toward medium to full, but, you know, and maybe at the very end I'll to say it is. But right now, and for the most part, the majority of cigars have been medium body. down to the end so let's wrap it up the black pepper increased throughout the burn of the cigar all the way to the end it's, it's probably up to now close to between eight and a half and nine uh, I, I, let's call it eight and a half it's not a nine but it did increase it's nice maybe one of the best things about the cigar flavor notes continued the same percentages here at the end from the last segment two inches ago to now about the same heavy on the coffee secondary chocolate third strawberry type flavors even touches of cream emerged i noticed at the end you could give it a medium to full body overall the cigar is medium body it doesn't get medium to full till the very end finish is about the same this has been a good cigar. Started out one way, made a drastic change, and then stayed that way. All the way to the end, with just percentage changes of the flavor notes. Um, good cigar. Well worth trying. And I found it on shelves here locally, so I'm sure you can too. For me, it's a 91. Good cigar. Good cigar. It's solid cigar. And it had a lot of good flavor notes that I, that I like. So there you have it. The La Polina El Año 1896 Oscuro Bellicoso. Mouthful. Six and a half by 52. 91.